What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Bree, and I'm back with y'all with another video. Oh, yeah, okay. so, oh my gosh. Ooh. So, y'all. Look at your goofy we ass recording off the phone again. <laughs> First of all, off the phone again, we forgot. Huh? I forgot yeah, exactly. the camera. Then yeah. I told him to Say go I. get it, and he went and got it. We know. Oh, I thought the car was lifted. <laughs> <laughs> he he went and got the camera with no SD card. So now I'm stuck vlogging on my phone for y'all. So thanks to him. No, thanks to you. Cause no, cause it. no, but you bring it with no SD card. How okay. stupid is that? That's your fault. I didn't know. Anyways, y'all, today I'm having my first ultrasound appointment in Houston today it's at nine o'clock but you know black people don't know timing apparently because you know what? Bro, my point was at nine we're o'clock it's, on time. Eight, it's eight you know i have to sign papers right it doesn't matter we're literally on time no you don't understand how this goes as bro. long as you're in men the facility, don't understand as long as you're in the facility you should be good anyways y'all so yeah i have my first appointment today i i i don't know if i can record in there or not but i'm gonna let y'all know if i can record in there i'll record a little something something for y'all but if not i'm gonna let y'all know how it goes and basically yeah so let them see my mimi yeah yeah oh yeah she yeah. got her super strapped in and shit what's wrong with you bro he like what is he talking about super does he feel not even that tight arm he's jazzing for y'all she's not she's not you know what i mean but yeah yeah so um, i'm gonna get back to y'all so yeah, um, I'm currently. <laughs> so, can you stop? So yeah, I'm currently waiting to see like the nurse practitioner. I had like a, I think it was like a regular nurse or a doctor, whatever it was. I guess it was a nurse that took my blood pressure and stuff like that, whatever. But I was wondering why they had me just sitting here for so long. But it was because she was looking at all my records from like my past pregnancy to this one. So it's a whole lot because they faxed over her information. I also bought my paper, like all my papers into, I had her like print it out and stuff. So I wish you could see it. And my poem is at nine and it's like 10, it's like 10 something, right? And yeah, she even came in here offered us some water and go fish because she knew that they were taking forever. So, you know, I'm happy now. I'm currently in the bathroom right now. It just feels like I've been in this doctor's office for so long. I've been here since nine o'clock. It is now 1140, I think, something like that. I just did a glucose test, yes. And then after, she's gonna call me back at 1230 to check my glucose, then she's gonna do my blood work. Oh, and I still haven't ate yet. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I already know how that goes. Me and baby need to eat like ASAP, okay? Before I catch a tantrum. So yeah, I'm a little tired too because I have to wake up at like seven something because we left the house around like eight, eight ten because in Houston the traffic is freaking horrible. I don't recommend Houston traffic at all. That's like the one thing I don't like about Houston, honestly. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to y'all. Hopefully, when I get some food or something after all this and all of that. So, I feel so tired and worn out. I have not eaten yet, and it is 2 11. I'm going to rip somebody's head off. I'm going to rip somebody's head off, bro. But they just did like a, um, a growth ultrasound or whatever, and then they said that I gotta go and take more blood work. So before they took three tubes, now I gotta go back there so that way they could take more. My arms hurt from the um, the flu shot and the T-back, whatever shot it is. And then, um, uh, yeah, my arm hurts. My arm is sore. My arm is sore from them taking blood from My arm me. is sore from, yeah, you shouldn't be having the camera right now. What? First of all, you don't even left the SD card. Stop blaming everything on me. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rip your head off because you have yet to feed me. So we're still in the dim. It don't matter. Anyways, so I'm gonna get back to y'all when I eat. I be, I said that before, but when I really eat for real, for real stop. Get away from our computer. Oh my gosh, bro. This is the second day from me recording from the last couple clips or whatever. I'm still on my phone. K2 has a camera or whatever and stuff like that. But yeah, so I was at my appointment and they admitted me to the hospital and it's just a lot going on right now, y'all. And don't mind how I look because, you know, I just look hit. I was not prepared for all of this or whatever. My 
boobs are leaking it's just a lot right now but so yeah i've been in the hospital since wednesday i unfortunately have to stay until delivery because they just want to make sure everything's good everything looks fine though guys just keep us in your prayers and stuff like that baby looks good you know what i mean it's just it's just a lot but you know at the end of the day we gotta do what we gotta do they gotta do whatever they gotta do just to make sure that the baby comes home and stuff like that so i'm just hoping and praying for the best you know and yeah i wasn't really able to really like record record because it was just so much going on at once between doctors coming in and talking to me about everything like every time one doctor would come in it would be like 10 of them coming in at like once just talking to me and stuff like that so that's basically what was going on um so yeah but my doctor my nurse whatever she was just telling me like just to basically act like i'm at home she wants me to get up and move around so my muscles don't weaken and then i don't get too used to that stuff so yesterday i was like walking around i went to the cafeteria milo was here then we walked outside with him and so stuff like that whatever but like i'm fine guys you know i'm you know i'm trying to cope a little well you know it's just overwhelming because nobody really likes the hospital you know what i mean it's just it's a, it's a lot when you're in the hospital got the iv thing in there so it's really honestly a lot i'm just trying to hang in there honestly and not try to stress myself out because when you stress yourself out that can put strain on the baby and all that so i don't want that for me i don't want that for my child so i'm coping with everything good and stuff so Casey went back home to freshen himself up do whatever he gotta do at the end of the day we still got lives around when we still gotta do what we gotta do we're not gonna let this stop what we have to do we still gotta film we still gotta drop we still gotta do a lot of stuff and i know a lot of you guys are also interested in our daily lives and what we got going on you know and a lot of people they're probably trying to keep up with my pregnancy journey so i'm just like you know what why not i'm gonna obviously take you on this pregnancy journey with me because why would i leave you out of it y'all have family too so i might as well but that's basically all guys i just wanted to keep you guys updated let you guys know what's going on um i don't know if this will be it for today's kind of like vloggish or whatever but if anything i'll probably keep filming probably for the rest of the night then tomorrow i'll see if i'll drop the video or day after but that's what everything's been looking like her heart um she's been doing good on the heart monitor um she's practicing breathing which is good um and yeah but there's other stuff to explain or whatever i'm probably explaining in the next video or in the next clip or whatever and stuff like that just so you guys would know but that's basically how my days have been going so far since I was trying to vlog for you guys the first couple times. We was not expecting this to happen, but God has other plans, you know, based on my past and everything like that. They just want to make sure everything is good. They want to make sure baby is fine. They want to make sure I'm okay. So you know what I mean? Just hoping for the best and that's really it, honestly. And whenever I have to deliver, that's what's going to have to happen. So yeah, y'all. Yeah. But this morning, I had a great breakfast. <laughs> this morning I had waffles, eggs, sausage, and a yogurt parfait thing. And and I just had Rice Krispies. Banging fire. Uh, so yeah, but I've been eating my ass off though. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm eating for two. So yeah, y'all. Yeah, but I'm gonna get back to y'all. Probably talk to y'all a little bit more. A little later and stuff like that. And just tell y'all what's going on keep filling y'all in i'm not gonna not let y'all know what's going on because y'all my feeling too but y'all get the point though so bye y'all love y'all i just got well i should have recorded before i started fucking this shit up but i was just too hungry i just took a shower and yeah i already dirtied up my shirt like how i have chicken tenders fries caesar salad strawberry parfait cranberry juice and yeah but y'all yeah, not to mention too my birthday is literally in 13 days and if i gotta stay to delivery that's fine and all but like okay you know what this is crazy man so crazy but these tenders are tendering 
Whoever cooking up in the kitchen? I don't know what time to work. How do you move this? Oh. But yeah, I feel a little bit better now that I took a shower. Sorry, y'all. But yeah. So, this is basically my little lunch break. I'm gonna order dinner, like in like two hours. So guys, I'm back. Um, but I forgot what I was gonna say to you guys. <laughs> but y'all, I cannot believe I have not had my lashes done, my nails done, or my hair done in about probably like three months before Valentine's Day. Shaking my head, probably even longer. I'm driving, it's definitely no longer. But yeah, y'all, my boobs are currently hurting me my right one is sore but my left one is is um like milk is coming out of it it's like leaking and then like it hurts really bad this one from my first pregnancy it was this one now it's this one and ah, i told the nurse she's gonna get the lactation nurse or whatever but yeah my face it looks like a little swollen and red i don't know if it's because of the steroid shots that they gave me but they have gave me two steroid shots they gave me one yesterday and they gave me one day before. So I don't know if that's what, that's why my face is looking like that, but I don't know, I'm gonna probably ask her when she come back in. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath, y'all. My gosh, a lot of work. But yeah, so I just had quesadillas too. Quesadilla wasn't bad, but it wasn't that, like them chicken nuggets. Them chicken nuggets was busting, I ain't gonna hold you. So yeah, um. I don't know what's about to happen or whatever. They hurt really bad. Like, it hurts really bad. I got a piece of tissue in here. Yeah. Ghetto. But, yeah. I feel a little bit full, but I feel like I could eat something else, honestly. Definitely. Because I'm eating for two. Um, so, yeah. I want to get up, but I don't want to get up. Because I feel like a big bitch. I'm not trying to move right now. So yeah, I'm gonna keep continue vlogging for y'all. See so y'all can know what's going on for real. And yeah, I might not cut nothing out because it's really nothing to really cut out. So I'll probably gonna be uncut. <coughs> oh. So yeah, I'm just watching TV right now. I was watching TV on my iPad. Whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a little bit. I'm. Back. I'm back, guys. So they put a baby on the mama again. At first, um, she was she was moving, but then she stopped, and it was like she was like sleeping, taking a little nappy nap. But the doctor, nurse came in and told me to get eat some ice to wake her up. And now she moving around a little bit more and stuff. But yeah, they turned on the heart thing or whatever. But I guess I could hear it. I probably can't catch it because that ear is not good like mine. But yeah, <clears throat> I feel so tired, and I was having trouble like sleeping too because I guess I'm just like thinking about everything and stuff like that. So she really gave me um some sleep meds so I can go to sleep. Cause yesterday she gave one to me, I was not the fuck out. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come back because I want to know he ate. I ate too, but like I said, yeah, I already know I have a thing for food, so I'm just trying to see what he don't get to eat so I can tell him what I want from wherever. Hopefully he don't go and grab no bullshit. Oh yeah. So guys, I uh, I just fixed myself up a little bit. We're walking. We're taking a little walkie walk. Yes sir. So I can get my little energy and morning runs. This is like her first time in like three days. Right? Since the time I came here, the only no, time I think I walked down here was when I was I don't necessarily remember, but what? like that I stepped on you. Yeah, you no, know, you stepped on my shoe, but my shoe came off my foot. So yeah, we're just taking a walk down to Starbucks so I could walk around because they told me to that I could get up and move and she not gotta, stay on bed rest yeah, forever. You gotta move around and um. I'm already getting out of breath. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she gotta move around. Now look at my um, little outfit. 
and get back to you You're know. Getting out of breath too. No, I'm not. I was just stick for out what to say. Liar. But yeah, she got to move around and get back to walking around and 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 doing, doing normal the... stuff because if she stays in the bed, her bones are gonna get weak. And yeah, she... muscles are gonna get weak, and yeah. we don't want that. Yeah, and we need that gat to stay gatting, so we can't like. I can't even really no, like. Me <laughs> So, you know, she can't just sit down on it all day, you know what I'm saying? What? She can't just sit on yeah, it all day. My boobs, they're just now kind my of recovering. They're kind of recovering. What floor do I press? They're kind of recovering from the other day. The other day, they hurt so bad. I felt like I had a BBL or something on my boobs. But yeah, tummy is growing. I'm like 28 weeks in like a day or two now. So, yeah. So. What? Cause you never know where you're going. Heavy ass door. Wait, what was that? Was that on the um? I think it was up there. It was on the second floor, right? Yeah. So let's go to the second. Floor. Yeah. He's the worst person to travel with. Walking around, going anywhere, like he can never get out of this place, bro. I swear. Wait. They going up too? Going up? Yeah. So yeah guys, we came down here for Starbucks and Starbucks is currently closed. Yes, it is closed. And he knows I've been wanting some sweets for the longest, so now I can't get it. Yeah. So how, what are you going to do about that? Um, we're going to go to that. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to we're going to go to that uh to the other uh Oh, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, babe? Uh, it's like a cafe. It's like, yeah. Isn't it? Exactly. So yeah, we're gonna go there and see what they have. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Watch out every day. Thank you. It. Um. Anyways, like I said, um, yeah, we're gonna go to the cafeteria. To the uh, what is that called? The cafe. cafe. Thing. Yeah. yeah. And they have snacks. They have sandwiches. They have. Hopefully, they have stuff. something different from the last time we went. Yeah. This stuff wasn't that bad, but I don't think the guy wanted to. He didn't Yo, want to work. Yo, hold on. And I gotta talk to y'all, man. Who you gotta I talk to? to I gotta though. talk to y'all because. It was because of Bree's last video, um, you know, when we were talking about the baby and stuff like that. I want y'all to know, like, anything that I say and anything I joke around about, like, y'all got to stop taking that stuff too serious. I usually don't listen to comments, like, or look at comments, but it was a TikTok that was going super viral about, you know, I said that Bree tried me or whatnot. I, I be joking about that stuff nine times out of ten, bro. And what I meant by trapping me is not like trapped me like, oh, I didn't want a baby. And she just basically just forced me. Baby. No, no. I, by trapping me, I meant we was exactly. doing a do. We was doing a do. We was doing a do. And, you know, when she wants you to not... You know, Why? back up. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? She keeps you in there. And not that there was anything wrong with that. It's, that's just clearly what happened. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so. I didn't get her pregnant. Hold on, my bad, bad. Um, I didn't get her pregnant on purpose, you know, but we, me and Bree, we, 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 we really didn't care if she got pregnant again because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we just lost our baby and, you know, we we both wanted another one. No time was telling, like, when we would get one, but, you know, it just happened. So, you know, and I love my girlfriend. Y'all like, y'all gotta stop telling me about my life and telling me about our lives and what I do and what... First of all, we love each other. We're in love with each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm never leaving this beautiful mamita. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I gotta um, realize like a lot of this stuff we do, we display, or he displays, or whatever. Most of it is content. Yeah, it's I not know. real life. It's we're just putting out content for y'all, and y'all seem to like it. But sometimes y'all let it go over your head. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be, y'all can't. First off, is she is she. Okay, so we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, she can't walk and talk. <laughs> she walk and talk. She go get out of breath. But like I said, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just like, you know, I'll be just trying to be funny for y'all. But like, it don't. I don't be. I don't be like. It's nothing that. Personal. Yeah, that is too personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she don't take it too personal, y'all shouldn't because. Like, if y'all see me crying in a video, like, come on. You should know how the content goes. You should know acting is acting, and I'm just like that. So, <laughs> so she's very sensitive, so she gonna cry. So anyways, um, but yeah, man, like, I love this girl. So y'all keep saying that, oh, um, oh, he's not the right one for you, or this, and the third, or whatever they may think 
it's like, bro, I'm not worried about y'all. We not worried about y'all. We good over here. Huh? What happened? Okay. Okay. We're not showing anybody, though. Huh? We're not showing anybody. The camera is super close to my face, so they can't even see what's behind me. Okay. Like I said, uh, yeah. Um, anything you would like to say to them, babe? That's really it. And basically, what I was talking to you guys before, oh, and now you guys see that I'm actually filming on the camera. Because, you know, he actually came with the SD card and everything, so he's prepared. So, yeah, despite the quality, looks a little better and different. Whatever. So, that's basically it for y'all. We're going to continue to drop more videos, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, oh, and no, subscribe. But you're not done, though, babe. How? Because you still got to tell them, like, you to oh, you, you already told them everything on your phone. I, didn't, I don't remember what I said, but I think I was, like, wrapping it up a little bit, like, from when I was recording my appointment. All right, well, like I said, man, uh, we love y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, and if I didn't explain to y'all, I will definitely explain to y'all in the next, in the next video. video. Right. But, um, I, I, I have another thing to say, but uh, let me sit right here. I have more to say, but I can't, like, get it out of my brain. Um, um, what am I gonna say? So, yeah, uh, um, yeah, back to what I was saying before. Um, I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody, like, I've never been bashed. I've never been, like, I know some people in my comments say, oh, y'all gotta stop with these pranks, these pranks, but y'all gotta realize, this is our job. Our job is to prank her, and our job is to, she, she has to prank me, I have to prank her, and we have to prank y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, like. You can't make no money without fun. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, y'all be bashing, y'all be y trying to bash me now because of the pranks I do on Brie and stuff like that, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, there's not gonna be any pranks going on. For the next, probably month, or maybe, like, week or so yeah it's gonna be some real life vlogs and, and we, real life stuff but if we can on. get a little couple pranks out there you know we don't do it. right like i gotta realize this is our job and um no one cares what y'all want for Bree. no one cares what y'all want for me we know that we're good for each other and some people y'all in the comments saying oh uh he wasn't ready for a baby and it looked like he just got her pregnant on purpose what do you mean i'm like first off yeah first of all i've been ready for i'm been ready First off, last year I got prepared to be a father. And I know that sh shit changes once you become a father. And I was ready to ch change those things. And I still, y'all don't know me for real. So a lot of things I've changed, a lot of things, shit that I used to do, I don't do anymore. I cut ties off of certain people and certain things because of the fact that I'm literally about to be a father. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the thing about growing up and being, you know, a man. So... See, y'all yeah, have your input on, like, certain things that going on with our life, which I don't know. Me and this girl, me and this girl right here, and I'm not addressing, don't think I'm addressing nothing, because I'm not. Um, no, I am addressing something, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Me and this girl, we literally build each other up. You know what I'm saying? She already had her platform, all right? And I was already doing my platform. My platform wasn't big, but Brie, when me and her jumped in to collabing, we basically came up together. It was super genuine. It was never on no, hey, I'm going to use you for this. I'm going to do this for this. I'm going to do that. No. Me and Brie literally hopped on TikTok. First off, Brie didn't have to put me in a TikTok if she didn't want to, and she was bougie. She's not. Right, because he told me he don't mess with TikTok. He said I've never been dance. on TikTok a day like, in my we're life. We're going to make a TikTok. And he's, you feel he what I'm saying? in front of my house, and we're like, we're going to make a TikTok. And me, my friends, we made a TikTok with Brie, and it went up. And ever since then, people have been shipping us. People loved us. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason we, why we should be getting any hate from anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Me and this girl, it don't, we don't care what y'all think. Me and this girl yeah, build each gotta, other up. Y'all yeah, just gotta mature and grow up because some things are just better left unsaid. Right. So. A, a lot of things that I wasn't doing, she helped me with. A lot of things she wasn't doing, he I helped her with. You feel what I'm saying? Things that y'all don't even see behind the camera, bro. See, things that y'all don't even see, you know, endlessly. Things that I do for this girl and things that she do for me. 
And y'all are y'all are really failing to realize that the past and everything that me and him went through with not, not only being like the first pregnancy or whatever, just everything in general. We've been through. We don't bring everything to social media for everybody to be like judgmental and criticize and say what they got to say. But y'all yeah, don't know half the things that goes on between me and him. Because we don't tell y'all. We don't, we don't tell y'all like, everything. And our bond is like, I feel like it makes us closer because mm-hmm. of the sh- stuff that the we shit that we done been through, been through a lot. We done been through trying to trying to do the parenthood things. We, we got our, first off, we have our own apartment together, bro. We super locked in. What makes you think that if, do you think she would have gotten an apartment with me, with me if, if, um, if I'm if I'm using her for anything, or or if or if I'm draining her mentally or physically, Could you I think I would have? No, we literally come like this. We help each other. If she don't got it, I got it. If I don't got it, she got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm so, walking for a Y'all don't. <laughs> it's it's a lot of shit that y'all don't know, but like I said, um, you know. I'm here. Bree is fine. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm good, y'all. The baby is fine. Yes. Baby my, C. Baby C is good. My baby. Baby C. C. If you're too slow to understand, just let me know now. C, baby. I'm confused. Your last name. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. It's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, about. baby. Okay. Um, Anyways, but, so yeah. yeah, baby's doing good. I'm doing good. Everything's fine. You know. You know, we just, I'm just uh, um, basically on bed rest and hospitalized. Yeah, she's till, bed rest. You know, yeah. baby decides to make a grand entrance. Right. So uh, uh, that's another thing. The baby can come any day. Um, who knows when? It could be early. It could be um, mid. It could be you know. So uh, we just basically waiting for our baby girl, and uh, she has no choice but to get here. She's gonna get here safely, healthy, and um, we love y'all, man. We love y'all and make sure y'all stay tuned and y'all gonna call me on my pregnancy journey and we out.